moment to hear from our sponsor. Did you know that traditional bed sheets can harbor more bacteria than a toilet seat? It can lead to acne, allergies, stuffy noses, and it's just gross. Miracle Made offers a whole line of self-cleaning, eco-friendly bedding such as sheets, pillowcases, and comforters that pres- that prevent 99% of bacteria and require three times less laundry. Their self-cooling properties using sick, using silver-infused fabrics inspired by NASA. Um, Miracle Made sheets are the thermal regulating and designed to keep you at the perfect temperature all night long so you get better sleep every night. Miracle sheets are luxuriously comfortable without the high price tag of other luxury brands and feel just as nice, if not nicer, than bed sheets used by some five star hotels. So upgrade your sleep with Miracle Made. Go to trymiracle.com slash ATI and use the code ATI to claim your three piece towel set and save over 40% off your order. That's miracle. That's trymiracle.com slash ATI to treat yourself. And thank you, Miracle Made, for sponsoring this episode. Honestly, the three towels that come with the sheets is an amazing ad because I feel like everyone, like you got to switch out your bed or your bath towels a lot because those just get gross. Yeah, and I love, I love the sheets. I've been sleeping on them. Yeah, for two nights, great. and I am a power sweater at they're night. They're great. And I, I've been good. Yeah, yeah, they're I've awesome. Been good. I've been dying to try the towels. We've been trying the sheets. Great. Now I'm like, I need to get, I need to get some towels too. I mean, I'm ready. What's up, guys? Welcome back to After the Island. I'm Elizabeth. I'm Alex, and we have Naja with us today. Hi. Welcome. Hello. Thank you. Thank you for having me. Of you course. look stunning. Gorgeous. Thank you, guys. Wow. Just sparkling. Sparkling. Okay, where are you right now? I am in, at home in Columbus, Ohio. Oh my gosh. I'm from the Midwest too, so I'm like... Oh, what part of the Midwest? Uh, Michigan. Oh, Michigan. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Wait, how did they find you for the show? Did you apply or... Um, no, Nache reached out to me and... What was that like? Did you know you were going to be a Casa girl? No. So, my goodness. Okay. So, when Ashay reached out, I immediately thought, oh my gosh, what scammer is hitting me up right now? And so, all the way up until we had a FaceTime call together or a Zoom call together, I was like, this is fake. This is fake. This is fake. And even (laughs) after, like, I met Ben and Andy and I met the executives. And then, even at the airport, I'm like, oh, please don't let me get kidnapped. How did it feel finding out that you were a Casa girl? Were you, were you like excited? I know it's sometimes like a bummer for some people to find out. Like, how did you feel when? So like, to be honest, whenever I watch the previous seasons of Love Island, I've always like watched the beginning or the end. So I didn't know what Casa Amor was. So when they asked, yeah, I didn't know what it was. So when they asked me to come in, like everybody was trying to explain, it's like Temptation Island. And I'm like, Okay, I've seen that, but I don't really understand like what the difference is. <laughs> so right. yeah, it was um uh, an experience. Before you went in, who were you kind of interested in? And was there anyone you were interested in that wasn't in Casa, like that had got sent home before? Um my I don't know, like you'll probably ask all the girls this, but like yeah. <laughs> we all equally shared interest for Harrison. And oh we, yeah, yeah. So we didn't see like we seen certain episodes, but we didn't see, or at least I didn't see the episode where he was like booted off. So when we got in there, we're like looking around, like where's Harrison? Yeah. <laughs> so oh, yeah, no. yeah. There was a couple of things that like we didn't see. I think I didn't see like at least four of the episodes before I got in there. So I was just like lost. <laughs> Oh my, oh my gosh. gosh. Well, wow. yeah. Walk, walk us through when you initially got in there, mm-hmm. what, were your eyes just solely set on Keenan? Obviously, Harrison wasn't there. So yeah. was there anyone else that was in the villa besides him that you were like, okay, I could get to know him? Yeah. Well, I always said, I even told the girls, I was like, I was really interested in talking to Jonah. Um, unfortunately, mm-hmm. like in the beginning, I didn't get to have like private chats with him. And eventually we just ended up being like 
like a more of a group chat situation and mm -hmm. or we did have one private chat towards the end but it was about taylor and how like they're connecting and i was just like supporting that wholeheartedly besides him it was also kenzo but kenzo was so closed oh, off like closed door so it was just like okay i'm gonna let you rock over there <laughs> oh my gosh so did you have like any conversations with him or um, yeah i had a group chat with kenzo but nothing ever private yeah oh yeah he's wow. a very closed book yeah very closed yes. book like a diary with a lock on it <laughs> <Dead ups>. <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> literally so obviously there's so many questions right. about what oh, it, no. what went down with Keenan. Like, I don't even know where to start. Oh, um, start easy. Start easy. <laughs> I know. I got you. I got you. <laughs> like, maybe just like walk us through from the beginning. Like, what were your initial conversations like with him? So, very in right in the beginning, we bonded off of like, like I've said, like before, and even on clips. I don't really remember if it was included or not, but we're from the same area. Like, literally twenty minutes. So oh you know, our our schools were like rival high schools, and you know we literally yeah, know we everything. That. Yeah, so that's where we initially bonded, and um, so yeah, we just it was cool like that. And then you know it started growing and growing the more we talked. And I would say out of all the guys, I was talking to Keenan the most, so I feel like that's where most of the feelings developed. There, I'm like, what was he telling you? Because from our point of view, <laughs> I, like, we couldn't even wrap our heads around it because we were just like, what is he telling everyone that it's just okay. two different things? Yeah. Yeah. So let me, like, adjust. Let me sit like yeah, you, Alex, adjust. because. I'll adjust with you. I got you. Okay. So. <laughs> right. <laughs> um, yeah. So. Um, initially, like, here's like a big conversation that wasn't included, right? I asked him, where do you stand with KK? Because the last episode that I seen was him talking to Imani and him telling her that they're open and stuff like that. Yeah. So a lot of people, yeah, a lot of people thought that it's like, I seen the whole entire thing and I didn't. So when I came in, I'm like, okay, where do you stand with KK? Where do you stand with Imani? He said that he has feelings for KK, obviously, because they spend so much time together. And then he was like, he was getting to know Imani. He doesn't know where they stand. And then he was like, but I'm interested in getting to know you. And I was like, okay, are you open or are you closed? Because if you're closed, then we could just cut this right here. And he mm -hmm. said, no, I'm open. And, you know, he did mention like, he was like, oh, I was just about to get to know. I mean, I was just about to close things off with KK before. And I didn't see that part on you know the episodes mm -hmm. and so but he did tell me that verbally so I, I was gonna close things off for her but you know it was weird because then we wanted to be open so I was just like okay as long as you say you're open then we can rock and roll but yeah so it was just a big like shocker watching the episodes back and it was like you know it literally showed him acting and speaking to other people a completely different way than the way he was talking to me and I was like man I told like we had this conversation if you didn't want to talk to me if you weren't interested then we could have wrapped it up but you know we read like the one interview you did to um I'm forgetting with who it was with but also the fact that um on the just, today the today show I yeah think, today .com. how yeah. you know he was like oh it was always nausea like pushing things with me like it was always her not me and you were like obviously you can watch it in the episode too mm -hmm. you can even see it on tv that that was not the case yeah i felt like so okay so the crazy thing is because i didn't see you know when you're in there you don't see the other sides and the other point of views so by the time it came to the recoupling a lot of people were like why didn't you say anything why didn't you say anything and i was like i did like they act obviously they asked everybody how they feel mm -hmm. And I had nothing but nice things to say about Keenan because I was like, oh, I'm thinking that he chose KK because he generally likes KK more than me. You know, they have the time, they have the connection. So I was just like, mm. oh, like, you know, I want you to find your soulmate. I want you to be happy with, you know, your decision. Like, I support it. Da, da, da. So they didn't air it. And then when I got our, my phone back and I seen nothing but bullshit because of you know what he was telling what he was lying about even like the clips that i watched i was like what is going on 
And I don't know. I just felt like it was just a slap in the face. Like if you're going to lie, like I don't, don't do it if you're going to lie about it. And a lot of people are like telling me personally, like you should be embarrassed. You should be this. And I'm like, I don't have regrets. I, I'm an adult. I make adult decisions, you know, some of them might be stupid. I might be delusional, whatever. But <laughs> I don't go back and be like, I didn't mean to do that. I didn't, you know, I didn't want to. I stand on everything that I do. So I just thought it was very childish for him to do something and then act like he didn't do it or lie about it or even lie about it and worded it where it just came back and made me look like a bad person. I didn't like that. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Yeah, I think the way that it was kind of portrayed it just made it it looked like he was just putting everything on you yeah. and that was what kind of drew alarm bells to us we were like i think what pushed me even over the edge that i was already on with how i felt about how things were shaking out with keenan and after everything with casa and even like the prior interactions before that was the movie night episode did you watch movie night I I seen clips. I didn't watch. Like after I left, I've just been watching clips because I'm like, I cannot. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. That's and that's that's probably best. Very you fair. Know. <laughs> yeah. For everybody on the show, truly. <laughs> but it was it was interesting because the movie night clip with Keenan, it was him very much like I didn't I didn't do anything. I didn't, you saw, you saw, and we were like, but we did see that like like I was wondering if you thought he got a fair enough clip of like what was kind of happening. Like, if you think there was, like, so much more they could have showed to show more of the true colors. I wish they would have showed how most of our conversations was, like, him also engaging and saying, mm -hmm. like, I like you. Like, I want to talk to you. I want to bring you back to the villa, you know, because I feel like the way it was viewed was, like, like he literally was just shut down and I'm like, no, please don't love me. Talk to, you know? And I was just like, yeah. what the fuck? So, <laughs> um, yeah. So even him like still trying because I did just see the clip of him. Like, mm -hmm. I didn't do this. I didn't do this until the last part when it's like, oh, now you you can't say nothing. So, um, I wish it did include more of like our interaction and not just it being one-sided because it wasn't right. one-sided. Yeah. Yeah. And you even said too, that, you truly thought he was choosing you to bring you back to the villa up until it mm -hmm. right before it happened up, and, up until Carmen spoke actually. Yeah. He was like, like the way he was acting because it was either he was acting like he was going to bring me back to the villa and trying to make it seem calm, but he really like wasn't, or, you know, he generally was. And I felt like you wouldn't look at me the way you looked at me and you mm -hmm. wouldn't have that nonverbal communication if you were kind of ashamed or sad or like feeling guilty right. like oh you know right. you, do this. you know what i'm saying so it felt comforting the way he looked at me and i'm like oh he's gonna like no issue he's gonna bring me back um and so when he started speaking you know after carmen said and he stood up and started making his speech i was like oh well <laughs> we're gonna wrap it up here <laughs> oh my gosh yeah. oh my gosh because that would have thrown me for a loop. Same. Yeah. And um, a lot of people thought like I was just so upset and hurt, but I take things as they're given to me, you know, mm -hmm. and I didn't cry, but I understood like, like, like I said, like in the moment I understood he has a better connection with KK. He's known her for all this time and I can't be mad about it. Have you spoken to him and KK since leaving? Were you shocked that they, that Keaton was voted out or did that make sense to you then for him to get be voted as like a, uh, America's least favorite? I wasn't shocked. Yeah, at all. <laughs> I don't think anybody was shocked. Yeah, I was. I was shocked that KK ended up leaving with him. That is a beautiful couple, and I'm so happy. And I hope they work out. Have you spoken uh, to either <laughs> of them since? Like, no, no I haven't. No. Yeah, we haven't interacted or anything like that. Okay, even after like the recoupling, like you didn't get a chance to say yeah. anything to her. Yeah, oh. yeah. Even after recoupling, we didn't speak. Um, we didn't have a lot of time to like interact with each other, mm -hmm. and even like with the Casa Boys, we kind of just rushed the stage to say bye to people that you know we care about. So mm -hmm. I spent my last second saying bye to my friends, and I left out. Yeah. So you didn't say bye to Keenan in that moment either. No, but I wasn't worried about it. Like, yeah, yeah. <laughs> like you know, you were so. like. 
have yeah. fun yeah. right have fun have a blast happy trails oh my gosh I I'm gonna go through obviously there yeah. are so many questions that questions fans sent in Batty T asked given the chance would you still have fallen for Keenan or got to know the other boys like if he had been more honest with you would you have been like all right I'm backing off and totally going for someone else a hundred percent like um and that's why I always say I hate how it made me seem like so thirsty and desperate because it, it, if he was just like hey I think I want to pursue KK or you know this isn't working you know then I would have a hundred percent try to talk to somebody else that I was interested in um yeah. but it wasn't like that so yeah yeah so if you could go back and do it over, would you? Yeah. yeah. Um, do the experience over or? Uh... With a different man. <laughs> yeah. With a different oh, man. Yeah. yeah. With a different yeah. person. Yeah. I would try it yeah. again. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> would it be Kenzo? Kenzo uh... wouldn't even have been. Okay. But yeah. like who else? Who else? Um, so maybe Harrison or Jonah. But like, like I, just person... I mean the guys that were in Casa. Jonah was in Casa. Yeah, that's true. Yeah, it would probably like Jonah was like my number one, so it would probably be Jonah if we had more conversations. Yeah. Nasha, just to see watch, how he is. Did you watch uh, the other? Sorry, um, did you watch the other seasons of Love Island at all? Yeah, I watched your guys' season. Oh. I watched, um, I think season two, then three, a little bit of three, and then four. Were, oh, wow. Okay. Were there people like who out of those seasons would you have been interested in? Oh, OK. <laughs> I think this was last season, but I thought Jeff was like a stunner. <laughs> he's also <laughs> hilarious. Yeah, he's funny. <laughs> yeah. And he's from Cincinnati. Like, so I was like, oh, he actually has mutuals with, you know, my mutuals. And, like intimate in bed and like kissing and whatnot. It was two nights, not even just one night. It was like both yeah. nights? Yeah, it was two nights. And a lot of people thought like whatever happened was on the first night, but it was the the night or early morning of like the second and the third. Mm -hmm. So it was the third and the night before recoupling. So nothing happened like the first night, but we were cuddling. Yeah. And the way we were cuddling as well was like, he never let go of me. Like every single night we were cuddling like, like this. So it was just like, okay. You know, we're cuddling like that. And then, you know, you go to your friends in the morning and say, you know, that you want to be with somebody else, which, you know, guys will be guys. Yeah. yeah like, <laughs> I'm like, what is his MO? But I'm like, he's a man. So I don't even have yeah. to ask. That. Yeah. Was it, were there any of the guys that you did not vibe with, like, at all? I would say no. Uh, me, me and Marco didn't have the most conversation so I would say out of everybody I didn't know much about him mm -hmm. um but everybody else like my favorite was Leo I thought he's hilarious like <laughs> he is so <laughs> granted funny. he's in a rough spot I right know now, but he just keeps he reeling us back in oh my gosh he's the funniest <laughs> person like just so kind to his friend you know <laughs> he's so likable he's like very when you want to hate him you're like why do I like you still? Yeah. So I love Leo. I love talking to Mike was pretty cool. He had his moments, you know, mm -hmm. um, but I think the way that they treat all the girls, I think they're all very, like very much gentlemen. Okay. Oh, good. 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 I like mm -hmm. to hear that. Um, wait, I saw a question from Dominique Libretti. Do you genuinely think Keenan is not a toxic person? <laughs> I I don't know. Like when I met yeah. him and I was in the villa, uh, he didn't give me toxic energy. Yeah, you know. So I was like, oh, this is great. Um, but yeah. now watching it back, it's it's very much giving toxic. But again, like again, also like I don't want to be like this Keenan hater. But yeah, right. when you're in one space, maybe people act a, a different way than when yeah. you're outside and back in the real world. But mm -hmm. so from that moment you know, being in there and then comparing it to the outside. It's just two different people. Oh my God, you should. I feel like I remember you saying you were super competitive during the raunchy races. Yeah. I, yeah. Oh, I love competing. I just want to be a winner so bad. I guess I'm a loser. <laughs> I'm a loser. No, no, don't don't say that. That. Oh my gosh. No, no you're you not. Did amazing. Yeah. You, yeah. No, you are not a loser. <laughs> not at all. Not at all. Literally not at all. It takes a lot of courage to go on a show and go all the way to Fiji and like 
pa- put your life on pause and do something like that. So literally yeah. anybody that goes on the show, even the very first person that gets dumped or someone that literally, you know, whatever, like y- you all kind of win. And yeah. especially you have to look at it like there are so many people apply that apply to go on Love Island too. Like yeah. you guys are the people that they like wanted there and, you know, chose to do that, which is yeah. very awesome. Well, that's what I was like fighting in between because, you know, obviously you guys know coming out and seeing like, I'm sure you guys see messages or, you know, thought a certain way. So a lot of people reaching out to me, I'm like, oh my gosh, what did I even do? Like, and at a moment I was like, oh, I kind of regret doing this. But then a lot of my friends and family, they were so supportive and it was like, you know, we know who you are as a person. We live with you. We, you know, interact with you for years. So we know you don't act like this. And we know that, you know, you're just a different person. And I just hate how it just like came out like that. That's the only opinion that matters, though. It is. Truly. Through all of this. Yeah. What I want to ask, did you learn anything um, about yourself throughout this process because I mean you went through it yeah <laughs> I learned um see and the same thing is like I feel like oh no regrets just to kind of like slow down and think a little bit more and you know I'm a freak so you know maybe I should be less freaky <laughs> <laughs> really back like a little like a little bit and uh yeah so <laughs> you can still be a freak yeah yeah just like don't do it in front of cameras this time (laughs) in the privacy of your own home now yeah you know we've learned ease it down notch it down a couple you know we've all learned we've all been there we've all been there (laughs) i was like i was thinking to myself i was like "Hmm, maybe i should have been on too hot to handle (laughs) Uh, (laughs) like oh just uh, bring it back (laughs) hey maybe next season (laughs) Hit her up, producers. Sorry. Oh my gosh. You're... Oh, oh. What was your best memory through all of this bullshit? What was like your most fondest memory or the best moment you can remember, whether we saw it or not? I think hands down the best moment was when all of the Casa girls were like, because I, I don't want to go into too much detail, but a lot of the Casa girls, we all shared like... <laughs> Uh, it was called trauma bonding and we were all stressed <laughs> out like stressed out and so I think it was on two days before recoupling um, everyone was just having a moment like just a stressed out moment and we sat on the beach and we all meditated and awesome. we were talking about things that we were grateful for we were talking about like you know we we're deep breathing and it just helped everybody to just calm down and woosah so like that was literally a moment that we shared. And even Marco, Marco joined us. So Marco was like, oh, he was great. And I didn't expect him to like open up and he opened up and Leo was asleep on the couch, but he was there. <laughs> but yeah, we, it was a beautiful moment. And I wish they aired it because it's just like, you can see how genuine everybody is. That yeah. is really cute. Speaking of the boys, were any of them there for you during... Well, I guess you didn't really know what was going on until yeah. the recoupling. I was going to say, did That's any scary. of them like have your back? But Split. yeah, I none of them know. knew, I guess. Yeah. Well, it'll yeah. be really interesting, like as people kind of come off the show to see like who reaches out to who and who kind of like stays mm-hmm. connected and, you know, all of that. Yeah. Are you planning to see any of the Casa girls? Yes, we're actually we're in a group chat, whoever's like left of us right now. And yeah. we're all in a group chat and we're like, oh, we're gonna plan to go to Allie's house to meet her mom in Wisconsin. Oh, we're and cute. we're gonna go visit Ashley in Miami. So we have a couple plans already set in stone. So oh my gosh. we just actually link up. Oh that's, gosh, that's awesome. So that's like the best part it really of is. Love Island. I, I like, swear, like you're like the loves of my life. So we're probably the Casa girls more than like any of the guys. Right. <laughs> and that that's like usually how it goes. I know. Because mm-hmm. there's so many good we always say this with so many good friendships that come out of Love Island. And even today we had Rob and Brandon in the studio and those two are like yeah. little butt buddies. Like <laughs> they were so cute. It, like the two of them together with their little friendship, they were like out giggling the night before and whatnot. Yeah. Giggling. Yeah, it was cute. And they were like, We have I... plans to visit each other with um 
Eddie too and all this. Mm-hmm. And I'm like, it's so fun that ever. And we see Jasmine and Anna on a trip right now together. It's just exactly. Really cute I girl. like. I promise, it's the whole experience. It's like nobody else, like even your friends and family. As much as you talk to them about it, no yeah. one understands what this experience is, and it is not like TV. So <laughs> no, it's just like you only bond in this moment with the people you went through it with. And I'm just so glad I went through it with them like the mm-hmm. Casa girls and they are just uh, every single one of them just lovely lovely people oh yeah. okay that's really good to hear I know. it's such yeah. an awesome experience and you're not alone in feeling that either like no, literally exactly. all of us feel that way yeah, we're like, still no matter like that how many questions yeah. you answer they're just, just never gonna get like, it you're just not gonna understand <laughs> exactly <laughs> do you have any plans for what's next for you or are you just taking it slow and chilling out um I'm taking it slow well, um, well, I don't, I don't know. I'm finishing my physical, my physical training certificate, and I'm also a nursing student. I, I literally have my uniform pants on. Oh my god, I, I, love. I have class like right after this. But oh my um, gosh, <laughs> yeah. So I'm finishing nursing school. I'm doing my personal training certificate. So a lot mm-hmm. of stuff, just education wise, I'm just focusing on that. And if another opportunity comes up, then I wouldn't be afraid to take it. But and, yeah, but until then, I'm just doing what I did before I got on the show just to keep my schedule and yeah. mentally, you know, you got to stay totally. there. <laughs> I love all of that for you so much. Yes. You, yeah. Oh my gosh. You yeah, are so cute. I know. I'm so happy we got to talk to you. I know. Same. It was yeah. awesome. Uh, we will link all of Naja's socials down below so you guys can add her and keep up with her on Instagram. Are you on any other platforms? I have a TikTok. Well, hell yeah. 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 Well, is it the same too. username? Is it? Yes, it is. Okay. All right. Yeah. We'll drop it in the <laughs> yes. In the little description box. Yes. Um, well, thank you so yes. much, Naja. We are wishing you, you the best of luck yes. with everything. And maybe we'll see you on our TV screen soon. I know. Yes. Hopefully. Thank I know. you guys. Thank yes, of you. Course. And to anyone watching this video, please drop any other questions you have for Naja down below in the comments and we'll try to ask her or have her get back to you guys on them give this video a like comment and subscribe thank you guys so much we love all of you thank you Bye. bye